That's right. That's right. Uh, make it only that and might work out better. Maybe. No, I won't. Go down like that. Maybe. Maybe it'll work out better that way. Maybe it will, yeah. Yeah. Right. We'll go here. And we'll go here. Well, George, how's it going? Stephen Breen. Didn't know Kelly. No, you're not first. You are third. <laughs> but, as you can see from uh, the title track of this video, David Harden voted best DJ for 2018. Yes, got a message there earlier on on Facebook, so I'm absolutely over the moon. Um, so I said I'd come on here streaming live on YouTube. Take a break from Facebook because my Facebook has gone on fire. Um, so, yeah, absolutely brilliant. Um, G and G and S Plantar, well done, best DJ Stephen Breen. Congratulations, thanks a million, everyone. Uh, you don't understand how much this means to me. That's the guy on the street. Also, hello to Ryan as well. Ryan, you're here at the right time because I downloaded that Griffin thing last night and it's not working. But I'll show you there in a minute now. Uh, thanks a million, George. Uh, good man, months to rally videos. Didn't know Kelly as well. Um, so 15 watching, three thumbs up. So everyone, this is the skin I'm going to be using for me truck. It's a heavy haul truck. Um, I did go looking yesterday for a Griffin thing. Now, I did find something. I don't know if it's the right one or the wrong one. But uh, an update for you. Watch the front of the truck. Does that look good or what? What do you think? Yes. Perfect for heavy haul. That's right. So, I'm here at a shop. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to take off the trailer for a second. I'm going to go into the shop and see if I can put the pipes on the back of it. But I don't know if I can. And we're trying to start the truck. There she is. I fuck all brakes there. Alright, so... Now, everyone again, I'm hotspotting from the phone. So, I don't know if it's lagging free or if it's not lagging free. But, um... Yeah, so I have the Mighty Griffin thing downloaded for this truck. But it ain't working. There's not a lot I can do, so... I'm just showing Ryan there if he's still watching. Um, So, maybe I downloaded the wrong one. I don't know. But anyway. So... We better deliver this load. Heavy haul. Can't beat it. I got something to do with multiplayer ready. It's the only one that was there. So I don't know. 
We'll wait until we get this job finished and reinforce. So what I'm carrying everyone is 34 ton of industrial cable reed and I don't have a clue where I'm coming from, somewhere in Scotland anyway, I can't remember where. Oh, so Aberdeen. That's where we're coming from. And just to show you the route. It's not a long route. You know, only a small drive. Big long ferry, which is handy. So, that's where we're heading to. I wouldn't know to be honest on that one. I'm hoping to get out in the open roads now, but I don't think that's going to happen. I'd say I'll be going down some very narrow roads. Trevor. Welcome along as well, bud. Thanks a million Dylan, hopefully this will make the homework be better. I'm not sure if it's lagging free lads, if it's lagging free tell me, I am hotspotting from the phone to the PC. Hope to have a new broadband supplier uh, next week. Um, I met him today, so we're going to try, he's going to try and see what he can do. Thanks, Trevor. As you can hear, my phone is going 90. Text, Facebook messages, Snapchats. I will look at them all a little bit later on. Things are good, Brendan, now on yourself. My Snapchat is David KP. Well, Hugh, how's it going? Good to hear, Brendan.
Thanks to my son DJ as well. Um, if you keep watching there, Trevor, Nightbot will put up my Snapchat name there soon enough. Keep an eye on Nightbot. It puts up a load of stuff about my website and giveaways we're doing here on the YouTube and Snapchat for your Agri and Snapchat for myself. Hello to the 12 watching, 7 thumbs up, no thumbs down. Oh yeah, once people add me, I add back. Not a bother in the world. Well, me hard, what's happening, bud? I'm in team speak for coming in. Ginger's fine, dudes. He's asleep. He was away all day. I'm currently harvesting poplar on farming sim. Biggest <laughs> in the arse ever. Right. By right I should be doing farming sim, but this is just more enjoyable because I don't have enough workers at the moment for two jobs in the area. The jobs will get done at some stage, let's be patient. And to be honest with you, I probably won't do any multiplayer on Farmer Sim until I get new broadband. Hopefully next week that'll be because between the the streaming and the gaming and everything, it's it's impossible as you've seen. idea what's wrong with the mods Ryan to be honest you this bridge is very bumpy is that a normal thing you have to buy a few DLCs what do you mean, Michal? Oh, you were in bed. Oh, right, right, right. I didn't know I'd seen your message there, no. That's alright. Where am I heading tonight, Hugh? I will t show you on the map. I am heading to whatever country this is. Right there. So I'm coming the whole way down. And across the water. And into that. And when we get there, when we do another load, we'll just have to wait and see. Well, the easiest way to find my Snapchat, Trevor, is David. The subtract line and KP, C A P Y. Is Ireland private, Noel? No, Ireland's not private at all, at all. Um, what you do is, you go on to promods.com, I think it is, and it costs you about 86 cent to buy the map. And trust me, it's worth it. It makes this game so much more enjoyable, that's the God of the truth. But then again, I left Ireland yesterday in the game, I'm up in Scotland. When will I get to Ireland again? We'll just have to wait and see. 
Of course, if you, if you could subscribe to my son's account there, which is called DJ Plays, he'd be greatly appreciated, and I would as well. When he gets a bit older, he'd be doing a lot more videos and stuff like that. No matter, no. It's about 86 cents, I think. I think it cost me 1 euro and 46 cents between the map and the trailer pack. It's well worth it. It's gone on its route. Like, probably these places here are on the standard map. I don't know. But, um, to be honest, like, if you were watching back my stream last night, me going to Hollyhead and into Dublin and down to Limerick and back up to Derry and Belfast and. Do you know what I mean? It's just. It really makes this game so much more interesting. But the only thing about it is, you want to stay in Ireland, you can't really stay in Ireland. Um, so I don't know. I did own. Um, it's the same lorry as yesterday. I just uh, have a new skin. That's my heavy haul paint job. New beacons as well, strobes. I'm going to try and do as much heavy hauling as I possibly can. Is ETS 2 better than 3? I don't think there is an ETS 3 yet. A few people here in the streams have been talking to me about it. We're not sure if it's happening. Because... The lads that make this game have put an awful lot of effort in it. Do you know what I mean? So... We'll have to wait and see as my son is starting a hashtag there. Hashtag KP Nation. Well, Andrew, what's happening? He spelled it wrong there for a second. I seen that he deleted his uh, comment. John Deere Nation, Jez, I don't know. I was actually talking to the lads from the Macro Crowd. I thought it was more John Deere's at the tractor run, but actually, no, it was New Holland's. I wonder why is that? What, what happened now, Michal? You added me in Snapchat. Right, okay, Trevor. You have... They're at a dare. Now my phone's on 3G at the minute, lads. Did I see the videos you sent on Facebook? Um, no. I haven't looked at the area on Facebook. Got on the truth. Oh, Jesus Christ, shoot me now. So if you're wondering what's going on, everyone, the phone has gone to 3G. I could switch back to me Wi-Fi, but we all know what's going to happen there. She might as well take the week off, dudes. Be not honest, like, there's no point going for one day, like. What do you mean, GD7810? You might get pro mods. It's worth every penny that's gone on its route. Like from Ireland, Limerick's in it, Galway, Dublin, Derry, Belfast. It's alright, like. Look at the roads I have to travel here now. 
Shoot me flipping now. Jesus Christ. If we're into lorries, I would advise everyone get ETS2. American Truck Sim is good as well, like. But, am I into American Truck? Not as much as Euro Truck because of the fact that all these lorries I'm driving here, you see every day. American Trucks, you only see them at a truck show. Well, you might see a few on the road as well, but not down here. I don't think so, no. No bother, bud. If I'm gone, it just means my phone is after stopping and giving up and everything. Don't you just hate the back rows, lads? <coughs> like I said, lads, if it's lagging like hell, let me know and we can stop it. I'm not sure what way it is free. The phone is still on 3G. We've lost the 4G for some reason, but... There's wicked weather down here, wind and rain. So we're on my way. Wife... A minute, everyone, right? We'll see how long it holds up. You can buy ETS via Steam um, Buy it a few other places as well Of course I have it on Steam um, Promazin is a separate thing altogether uh, What you do is you go onto their website And you buy it And you can download for free as well if you want But it takes forever to download for free 
But what's wrong with giving 86 cent to the people that make the map? Without uh, them making a map, we wouldn't have an enjoyment map to play on. I mean, so I have no problem giving them the 86 cent. Especially the fact to see my own country, Ireland, in it. Which, by right, should be in this game full stop. Because Ireland is kind of one of the biggest countries in Europe, as in... We are the fastest growing economy in Europe. Since the downturn. And all that kind of jazz. So many ports here. I mean, we export to England quite a lot. Well, for another small bit. Until we figure out what Brexit's going to do to this country. And we import an awful lot too. From England. So, yeah. You don't really need... You like... Be handy if you have a good enough laptop. Do you know what I mean? Um... Of course, my computer here is a gaming PC, like. What, what, what did it cost me? 1100 euro just for the tower? I mean, forget about everything else that I have here. Corsair. Keyboard Corsair. Mouse Corsair. Logitech G27. Side take control panel. Two ACE screens. Webcam. You know what I mean? I should have more here. If I had a bigger space, I would have more. But I actually don't have a bigger space. Now, how people play your truck with a keyboard, I do pity y'all. Um, I remember a Scania game came out there years ago and I was playing keyboard. I was like, how the hell are you supposed to drive? Like, it's mental. Some people do it and are quite good at it. Um, you can also use your Xbox controller as well, of course. But to get the real enjoyment out of this is you should have a steering wheel and a gear stick. Or if you like driving automatic trucks, rally on. I don't like driving the automatic. Yeah, so PS4 controller will probably do the same thing. Mobile Home Hue is going quite well. Um, it has survived a lot of storms and it's still not tied down. There is timber outside it to go around it, but there's still more timber to be bought. Recently got the gas fixed. By the end of 2018, there'll be a wood burning stove in it. Um, so, you know. A 12 year old designed Barcelona and Promads. How the hell did he manage that one? I don't think I've been to Barcelona yet in it, have I? Have I? Barcelona. Where the fuck is Barcelona? What country is Barcelona? That's Spain, isn't it? Doesn't say it in the maps to see where you are, Spain. Anyone else see Barcelona there now? Because I definitely don't see it. Like, this is as much as the countries that are in Pro Mods, like. Get a screenshot of the original map. I'm telling you, there's not even half of this. Where the fuck? I don't see Barcelona. There's another place up the top there. I don't know where to flip. I don't even know where half these places are. Let's be honest. Like, um, am I putting timber decking around it? <coughs> um, what I'm playing at the moment, you is, um, I'm blocking off the wind from going in underneath it. Um, I just I can't even tell you what timbers they are. They're big, thick yokes anyway, and there's about ten of them needed because she's ten foot wide, but she's thirty foot, thirty two foot in length. So where I'm looking at the webcam behind me is a behind the webcam is a window. All that side is done, so I have to do all this side, which is the front. Um, so it costs a bit of money, do you know what I mean? But it has to be done. Like, living in a mobile home, it's like living in a house. You're always building onto it. You're always changing it, you know. You learn from your mistakes. 
like me with my own business when I started up Prestige Jesus Ireland I learned from my mistakes fairly quickly and um, because when I was in the square point first you know a bit nervous and all that jazz new business on the road and all that kind of stuff and I'd be there on a Friday night and I'd have a few pints and before I knew it I was drinking half my money I was making so it took me a while to figure out about that the next part of the business now is diesel wise still lose a bit of money on diesel front but we'll say let's say I was in Cork now on Saturday right during the day in Cork on Saturday and then another gig on Cork Saturday night that would definitely more than likely cover the cost of diesel but my next gig at the minute is April in the City West Hotel in Dublin a private party and um, there's nothing else booked at the minute it's just kind of quiet at the moment but uh, we still have the radio show every morning and all that jazz and we're doing other bits and pieces there will be more updates from my business uh, by the summer time I'm just writing down ideas every day and all that kind of stuff like this book I have here that's my gigs book then the other book is in the car which is the merchandise book and the merchandise book is for prestigious Ireland and it's also going to be used for the air agri stuff as well so large stuff happening do you know what I mean it's all good the main thing is the house should be f some bit done I still haven't even had a house warming here like do you know what I mean so I plan to have that maybe this summer if I can <coughs> that's if I have the time to do it Nobody knows what's around the corner. I might even be here by the summertime. No one knows what's happening. Do you know what I mean? Like so, I'm not trying to plan parties ahead too much. Now bookings, yeah, they are coming in a couple of months in advance because that's just what happens in the industry. I didn't realize that until a couple of weeks ago. I'm nearly getting bookings for next Christmas already. We're only on the 23rd of January. So, do you know what I mean? Can't be too far away now from the old uh, boat. So I've converted this lorry, everyone, uh, to a heavy haul lorry. But of course I'll be carrying curtain siders and all that kind of stuff, which does. As you can see, I'm kind of minding my driving tonight because of the fact of the load I have on behind. Speedy offense. Okay, just as I say that. That's just great, isn't it? Jeez, I haven't been in Grinsby in a long time this game. Mighty. Macho, there's no crack now by in herself. Is there far to where you're going? We're nearly at the ferry in Hull, so we're just going across. Small bit of a drive across the water. What am I in? Maybe we're going to tenth? No, we're going to ninth. No, we're going to seventh. Yeah. Try to figure out what it was because on top of my gear stick, my old thing there that tells you where the gears are, that is long gone. I suppose I should be going there faster, but I have a very heavy load on behind me. What happened when I start giving 50 ton and 60 ton loads? Will the Scania be able to pull it? Uh, we won't know, Rick, no. The rush last night was to get to Limerick because I don't live far from Limerick and the road that was actually on the map is actually a road I drive. So it's quite interesting to see that. Um, so I was driving like a maniac last night. What the hell is going on here? Okay.
Can't be far now from the ferry. The stream is awful quiet tonight. Probably is. <coughs> According to me, there's ten thumbs up and one thumbs down and nine watching. That could be totally wrong. I could be a bit behind you. I don't know what the crack is there. So you can tell me what ye see in your screens. I go here. Okay. W.M. Farms, how's it going? How'd you get the Ireland map to Ricky Lad? You buy pro mods or download it for free. But download it for free, lads, you'll be waiting quite a while. It's much easier to give the 86 cents. That's all it is. Doesn't cost a whole lot. Compared to a farming sim DLC, you're looking at 25 30 euro. And this is so much better than a Farming Sim DLC, to be honest. There is another DLC I'm, I must get from, for this game, which is Italy. Um, do you need any DLCs? Yes. For this map, you need the French one, I think. And you need Scandinavian as well, and going east. Other than that, it's all good. But I'm sure if you check online on G2A, you will get the DLCs quite handy for a quite handy price, but it's worth every penny, lads. That's the gun on the truth. Will you be driving to Monaghan? Will I be driving to Monaghan in this? I don't think so because Monaghan's not in the map yet. They might put the rest of Ireland in at some stage. Isn't it good to have some flipping counties in it anyway? So you've Kerry, Cork. No, Kerry, no, not even Kerry. Limerick. Galway, Dublin, Derry, Belfast, a few other bits and bobs around the place as well. I know my driver's yawning there, but sure, I have an awful long ferry, so there's no point in falling asleep now, like. Do I have a link to the V8 sound? Sounds absolutely mint. If Ryan is still there, he'll tell you exactly where it is. Um, I can try and find a link to it. If you bear with me there while I get on the ferry, I will try and get the link for it to the V8 sound that I have. It's for the S series Kenya. There is another one for the R series Kenya. But of course, I'm gone from the R series. I'm at the S series now, which was what ye wanted. So we're we're driving it now because it cost me a fair amount of money. They're not a bad old truck, like you know. I just miss my mighty Griffin stuff on the back of it. That's my only problem. But we will figure that out eventually. That's definitely a flipping bore a driver now and. So if you bear with me there for a second lads, I will go out and I'll get you that link. I think I have it somewhere. I just want to get on this ferry first. I know my driver is getting tired, I can't do nothing about it. He's sleeping on the ferry whether he likes it or not.
Wait, right, where am I going? Am I going there? Oh, I'm definitely not, not going to your port anyway. So, embark. 19 hour trip. Mighty flipping job. I'm going to Padborg, lads, if that's even pronunciation right. Uh, in truck wise, no. I'm not lucky enough to have me lorry license yet. I'm going to go for my rigid now. Hopefully in the summertime. Um. So yeah. Right. I'm just trying to see now. Do I have that link free? Something I didn't want to do was go on Facebook, but I have no choice in the matter because my Facebook is just on fire at the minute because of me becoming uh, number one radio presenter and DJ for 2018. I just won that award there a while ago. Ryan sent me a video. Ryan sent me a video. Right, okay. What is this now? Doodly do. Oh, yeah. Right. Right, everyone. So, to the people that want this sound mod that I have in my truck you can get it very simple here just click that link <coughs> that will give you exactly what you need So close out that and close out that. And we go back in and we deliver this load. Only 177 kilometers to go. What do you mean it doesn't work? Like, it should work. Why do you want a rigid license? Um, because there's a lot more jobs, I think, around the place to drive a rigid lorry, and the fellow I work for sometimes that's what he has is a rigid. I probably will get an Arctic at some stage, but don't really need an Arctic license at the minute. No matter w dot m dot farms. Probably have to do that as well, Colin. Yeah, I think so. The ridge would be more handier for myself anyway. Well, you upload vlogs of you out and about. Um, maybe. I'm hoping to get a GoPro uh, this summer. As well as a few other bits and bobs. And geez, that trailer is really waving side to side. Good job, Colin. Let me 
go on for one of those myself anyway in the next couple of months. And what's the lad that goes up in the sky? One of those things as well. I can't think of the name of it now. But you know what I'm on about. That's it. That's the one. <laughs> yeah. Just couldn't come up with the name of it there. Hello to my brother Darren, how's it going? There are people beside me called Kernan Transport and they have about 50 trucks and all of them stacks all V8. Sounds good. They got two S series Scanias. Not bad at all. Um, there was a lorry delivering today from Southern Milling. Alive Echo. He's actually coming down tomorrow, so my brother would be interested in this one because the sheep ration is coming tomorrow morning. That's how busy it is down this part of the world as they can't make the ration quick enough. Completely out of stock, but we're gonna have pallets in tomorrow, but they will not last long. But I'll be putting away some for my brother. He can collect them the weekend or whatever. Oh, where the flip am I going here? Well, my main business is my own business, Prestige DJs Ireland. I do bits and bobs like. Yeah, we'll put it wherever it needs it. 
Right. Isn't that delightful. It's proven very difficult! We'll take that. I did buy. That's as much as I've owned. button Well, Adam, how's it going? Uh, Colin, no, I don't think so.
Ah, uh, the R series, I suppose. They're probably saying, "Why are you driving one of these?" I don't know why I'm driving one of them. To be honest, but fuck's sake. It's a really short job. Shoot me now, like. And if I took the job, I wonder which one did I take there, though. No. Oh, did I even take the right one? I don't know. I didn't take the right one. Where the fuck am I going? Oh god almighty. Okay. So that's it for me tonight, lads. I'm out of here. Um, when I'll stream that one, I don't know. But I do hope you enjoyed the stream. Of course, the name of the stream is David Harrington and Vola Best DJ for 2018. And that happened there earlier on. Uh, so if you did vote for me, thanks a million, everybody. It does mean a great deal. Um, so, you know what time is it now? 10 o'clock. Watch a bit of television. Time for the lava. Catch me live on Lee Country Radio tomorrow morning. 9 to 11. Check out my website, davidharringtonmusic.com. Don't forget, I have Air Agri t-shirts for sale. I have Prestige Jesus Ireland t-shirts for sale, hoodies, hats, fleece jackets, rain jackets, regatta jackets. So, until next time, everyone. Peace out. Good luck. <laughs>